and welcome to the show. And uh, welcome to a very special episode of Survive the Hunt. You see, today marks, well, exactly 10 years ago that I created my channel. And for this whole week, we're kind of doing a little bit of a throwback, doing some old series and that kind of thing. So for a uh, Survive the Hunt episode, we have gone to, well, actually, what was the precursor? to survive the hunt, the escape the country video. There was it was along the lines of survive the hunt only you had to try and get out of the city and get to an airport and, and get away. And I've for this we're kind of merging the two things together to create hopefully a really exciting, interesting idea. So I've got to blow out some pre's, but I don't have a time limit on this one. Once I've got three pre's exploded, I have to drive out of the city, get to an aircraft. You see the aircraft behind us. I've got to launch a flare, the aircraft is going to land, hopefully on the water, uh, maybe somewhere else if things get desperate, and pick me up. If we get in the aircraft, we win. But there's a lot to go on before then. We do have a passenger in our vehicle for reasons unbeknownst to me, so we're going to get rid of said passenger from the vehicle and we are going to set off. Now we do get a two minute head start uh, for in, in all of this. Oh, the fuzzer here. Hello, police. Someone's annoyed them. Uh, yeah, we get two minute head start like normal. And the rest of the rules are pretty much the same. There's no map, there's no name of the players. The hunters are limited in terms of their weaponry and all of that kind of thing. However, yeah, it's it's the end part is gonna be a bit difficult. I've got to blow up three pre's. So there are eight dotted around the map. They know that I only have to blow up three before I start running away, uh, before I start leaving the city, but I have to blow up three of them beforehand. And well, actually doing that is surprisingly difficult. Uh, it is not a straightforward task to blow up three pre's. A lot can go wrong trying to do that. And once I have, it's actually quite a long drive abiding by traffic laws to get north. Okay, the motorways are quicker, but they're also more obvious. Oh, that was a big, issue for me. <laughs> Didn't see that car until the last second. Uh, yeah, we've got to abide by traffic laws, all of that sort of stuff, getting north, um, unless you want to get seen, and we can't, basically we can't win this one while in a chase. Oh, there's a pre at the petrol station, that might come in handy to know exactly its location already. Um, yeah, we can't win this in a, in a chase because I won't necessarily be able to call the aircraft down and get into it safely I've got a lot of people around me they could sit and wait and shoot me and all of that sort of thing because the flare is going to be seen by everyone they're going to know so yeah this is going to be a difficult one I think it's, it's not going to be too bad to start with I feel like this is going to be fairly normal but after this bit it is going to be a smidge difficult uh do we have any fun things that we can borrow car set at the moment is a bit pants it's really looking like it's an oracle maybe a ruiner it really is not much fun around. Um, and we could go for a supercar. Uh, however, I go for that. The hunters are allowed to go into faster vehicles. So we are going to try and avoid them as best we can. The Oracle is not going out. Oh, there's a police station there. Don't nick a car. Right in front of that. Um, that really is. Oracles. Oracle. Oracles. Oracles. Ruiner. Oracle. I'm not going to drive a bloody tornado. I can tell you that much. F620. That is a good shout. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to want that actually. Oh, spin it around. And the F620 is basically on the borderline of what counts as a fast car or not. Uh, it is technically a coupe rather than a um, sports car or anything, so it doesn't unlock more vehicles for the hunters to use. They don't get, like, the, the faster cars. Well, it is still pretty good. It's not astonishingly quick. It is a good shout, basically, for this. Uh, it is a good car. It's got some speed about it. Um, it's also a Simeon car. That's an, a wonderful, wonderful start. Lester, my good friend Lester, would you be ever so kind and uh, get uh, rid of the police? No problem. I'll get him off <sighs> right, okay, so things we've got to do. We've still got, I say, stuff to deal with here. Uh, style, let's go with... Sure, we'll go with this. Why not? I th we've used a lot of these before. I'll have to make some new ones at some point, but th they're not going to remember the clothes that I wore last time out. If you're seeing if you're seeing that level of detail on the character, chances are I'm going to do something non-AI-like that's more obvious than that. So I'm not going to worry about that, really. Uh, right, and now we're back into a, I guess, normal Survive the Hunt-esque scenario. Let's have a look. So I've got the map. I've got map up a second monitor. We're having a bit of a. Do I have any traffic lights around here? Or do we just go when we're? No, there's actually traffic lights for us. So we'll just go. Uh, we have got a 
relocated Michael's house. That might not be a bad shout for us to go and get. That might actually be the one that I head to first, I think. Yeah, we're going to head towards Michael's house. Uh, we'll try and get that one. There's one up by the cinema, there's one by the casino, there's one by Mirror Park, I think, where that construction is. There's one by the Los Santos Custom. Oh, there's one by that petrol station that's under the motorway bridge. There is one by the, cas the casino, I think. There's one by the helipad, the main helipad area. There's one by that... Actually, there's one over there by that slip road that goes down onto the motorway, which I... It's probably about equidistance from where I'm heading. There's one at the Chinese Monument, and I think that's all of them. I can do this at this current moment in time because I sat at a red light and not much is happening. Do spy the blimp. Of course, it is tempting to shoot the blimp. Very tempting to shoot the blimp. Uh, you might see there is an aircraft. You might see an aircraft whizzing around with a trail. Uh, that is my getaway aircraft. It is not involved in this point. It's just flying around. Uh, it's not allowed to like, follow me. It doesn't know where I am. They don't have a map on either. Uh, so it's just flying around. It's not allowed to follow chases, so it can't be used to give away where I am. It's just kind of... It's just doing something while waiting for the f however long. I don't know how long this is going to take. It could be over in 30 minutes. I could be successful in that time. Or we could be shot. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know which way it's going to go with all of this. Um, it really depends on how well we get through the pre's explosions. Damn it, Stevie is blowing up. He's played a lot of money for blowing up the iMoobot. Um, or oh, Morgan, the actual technical name for it. Uh, yeah, so we follow this road down. There is... Uh, I think I know the bit I'm on. I think there is a... Oh, no, wait, we can't really go anywhere. Well, yeah, we'll just follow this road down. We'll take a left at the bottom of it. We'll head up to Michael's house. We'll blow that one up. Michael's is Michael's house is not the nicest one to have to try and blow up. You're kind of limited in your escape routes. Uh, now, if I blow up, here is my here is the thinking. Okay, we're going for some tactical thinking. If I blow up the one at Michael's house, logically speaking, the best route for me would be to go try and get the one at the cinema. If I go that way, then we can try to make you know. That would be the shortest distance to blow up a number of cars quickly. But, of course, they're probably going to expect that. They know where the cars are located, they just don't know what ones I'm going for. So they're likely to check that one. What I'm thinking is, we're going to drive down to Michael's house, we're going to blow that one up, and then we're going to go the other way. We're going to go around the back of the golf course, and then we're going to head to the slip road. If I can blow that one up and I can jump on the motorway and make a swift exit... Although this is all, see, I can lay out this plan, it's all very well and good. It can be the best laid plan in the world, but something can happen that screws it over. I get seen, well, that's going to be a fairly big problem, but all manner of things can go on between now and then, and this plan will, I don't think I've ever stuck to a getaway plan. I did just see a hunter down there in the distance. AI car shot through at much greater speed than everything else. That is going to be a hunter. Um... I say that actually, they might not be loading in properly. We've got weird, like long range, or is it like long range LODs or something? I think that there's probably a, that's probably not how that an acronym, whatever it is, is pronounced. But yeah, there's going to be something funky going on with the cars at long range. That might give me trouble if the blimp kind of sees a player car and nothing else. There's an abandoned vehicle over there. Well, not abandoned vehicle, just left the door open. Uh, I don't know what that ricotto was doing. Something it shouldn't have been. Oh, never mind. Right, so we're not the first. It's not the first one. It is the next turning that we want. And that will take us towards the... Uh, pre, hopefully. So, my plan is we go here. We do cops turn a blind eye. Now, ideally I'd be getting out of the car... We're just going to go for a wind down the window. It's better than smashing the window, but it still gets spotted. Like the, the car missing a window can still get spotted, can still be seen. So I don't. I, I would rather get out of the car, but for the sake of this, with our potentially iffy getaway as it is, and potentially busy part of the map, I'm just going to play safe. Basically, I say play safe. This means I don't have to get out of the car. I don't have to do any faffing around. Um, it's yeah. <laughs> It, it's a bigger risk in the might get spotted just randomly driving, but it's better to get back into the car and just drive away from bad stuff. Uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, 
Well, we, we did stop. Not We're very unlikely to get caught for not obeying a stop sign properly. That is an unlikely set of scenarios that somebody sees that. Because, um, let's face it, the AI are dopey anyway, so they don't really abide by the uh, stop signs properly. Okay, my plan is, I'm not allowed to drive across the map, of course, and blow the prey up from a random location. I have to be within, you know, feasible line of sight, but I can wait, for example, here. I can wait until the lights go green. I'm going to take a left. I'm going to blow the car up. Hopefully, not going to have a blimp directly above us. It's actually pretty difficult to keep... You'd be surprised how difficult it is to keep track of the blimp. Um, that thing is a right pain in the arse. Uh, despite it being a massive vehicle, it is uh, surprisingly easy to completely lose sight of it. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you do something stupid not realising you're well within sight of it, despite the fact it's a huge aircraft. You know, it's a very freaked out uh, SUV going along there. There is, like, the blimp is already here. That's why I didn't want to fart around too much with parking up and getting out and all of that sort of stuff. Ooh, come on, traffic lights. I don't want to be sat this close. I really don't want to be sat this close to a set of lights. Not with a blimp above me, because if an AI car ruiner, don't you bloody dare. Okay, good, good ruiner. You're actually abiding by traffic laws here. You haven't tried to overtake me at the set of lights. They're going to be directing cars this way. Now, where they think I've gone from here. This is, I was counting on them expecting me to go to the cinema. I might... Uh, do I blow up the one? But they might also think... Uh, maybe we'll, we'll like coast around this way and we'll see how we're doing time-wise. We might not actually... Because it's about a five-minute cooldown on the whole cops turn a blind eye and I don't want to have to blow up a pre without that in this in this kind of mode if you will um i would like to get through all the pre's as incognito as possible and having to deal with a wanted level and then getting shot at could be a problem the blimp is heading this way i actually didn't really do that bit very well but never mind we'll park up behind the oracle the blimp's just looking it's just flying around the area I can't, even if we get down onto the slip road, I can't blow that thing up if there is a blimp directly above us. I've already got enough difficulties as it is. The last thing I need is insta blimp. I don't think this is the lane I'm supposed to be in. No, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. I was just making sure they were like, this wasn't just a right turn only lane. Although being in this lane, if an AI car wants to turn right, it's going to try and overtake me and screw up my day. Come on, lights. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> there goes a Feltzer at warp speed. Jeez, that AI is shifting over there. I mean, that, that isn't a player car. They're not going to be using something like that. But that AI was in a right hurry. There's the blimp. I saw the shadow. Blimp is directly above us. Let's maybe not blow up that pre just yet. We may have to rethink our strategy here. I was going to go left here, but I'm not going to. We're going to bide some more time. They might be on to my plan, you know. I don't like it when they're on to my plans. I like it when my plans are simple. As I say, I like it when, you know, a plan comes together. I don't like it when we have to keep making crap up as we go along. Uh, if we can't get this one, we could... If we can't get this one, we could run all the way to the other side of the map along the motorway because it's quick to do that. We're going to have to make this decision very soon. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane here. That's unlikely to be seen unless you were right behind me. Like from a bit further along, you would know that that was technically a very iffy manoeuvre. Hmm. And I don't know where this pre actually is. Either if it's on, if it's in, no, oh, if it's in the car park, I think it's further up than the car park, maybe. Oh, well, that's not what I need to see. Yeah, we're not blowing that one up. No, I'm going to go the other side. It's not worth the risk. Uh, now they're not allowed to camp. You're not allowed to simply just park, looking at a pre, but you are allowed to check the area if you think I might be likely to go for it. Which, let's face it, they were not wrong. <laughs> They were not wrong at all. I was contemplating going for that one. Okay, we're best off going for the other side of the map strategy. 
to put the foot down a small bit. Uh, the AI are weirdly slow on some bits of the motorway and then lunatics on others. Don't ask, I do not understand or no. We haven't actually seen a hunter car, I don't think, so far. We've seen blimpers, plenty, but a hunter vehicle, not, not so much. That is weird. It is unusual to have got to this stage and not seen an actual vehicle, an actual car anywhere. Or maybe like in the very far distance and stuff, but hmm. I don't know where the blimp is. I'm trying to look around to see if I can notice it. We got stuck behind slow moving SUV. That would be an AI helicopter. They're only allowed one aircraft. You can see off to the left we have our escape vehicle. It's just buzzing around. Uh, I guess we can go along here down towards Mirror Park. If we jump off there, that actually that would work. We can cover a lot of ground. If I go off the motorway here, we're going to be stuck in traffic lights and junctions, so I might as well just go all the way up to Mirror Park. Uh, that seems like a solid idea. Or the casino. Does this take us that way? Kind of, yeah. Sort of similar turning. Just keep an eye out for any weirdness going on. Uh, just lots of traffic. I'm going to move my way across here, because at some point I'm going to want to be off the motorway. And I'm not quite sure which turning I need. I think, is it this one? Coming up here? Because that is Mirror Park on our left. So we have to come off here and then cross a bridge. Should get us there. I think. Whereabouts is it? Okay, it's kind of by the lake. It's around the far side of the lake. Uh, cool. Right, Mirror Park. Oh, that's a little bit of a janky turning, but nobody's around. So as long as there's nobody around to see you do a janky turning, it doesn't matter. That's my theory, at least. Getting out of here is going to be more difficult. Getting out of here is going to be a touch more difficult. It's tempting, it's really tempting to try and go to the casino and blow up the third car. But, as we saw, they're going to be swarming that area. I think we did very well to get out of, away from Michael's house as efficiently as we did. That, it must not have been long before a bunch of cars turned up there. They may have tried to fan out more to try and catch me leaving. If they did, they didn't fan out to the right bit, basically. Uh, what way do we head out of here? I mean, my wonder is if I come down this road, and rather than, yeah, I could maybe come down this road and go around the back, okay, off towards the oil fields almost, across that really big bridge, and that could take me towards the heli pass. They might not expect that one, but if I do get seen on the bridge, I'm screwed. Uh, where is the pre? Somewhere over there. Just don't quite know where. Uh, right. Oh, don't tell me it started raining. Okay. I don't know what I saw, but it looked like a couple of spots of rain. Hey, Maybe I'm just going insane. Right, where is this pre? It's somewhere over here, I think. Just keeping an eye out for it. It's further around than this, I think. There it is. Okay, sure, sure. I think it was down the first yeah. road that we could turn down, and sure enough, it is there. Uh, 13 sticky bombs. Blimp check. Uh, this is the, the use of a stop sign is nothing to do with road laws, it is to do a quick blimp check. <laughs> That's the entire purpose of the, uh, the stop signs. Whoop! Here we go, we'll sticky bomb you. Don't blow it up just yet! Uh, <laughs> Right, so we're going to take this turning and they're going to have to blow it up because otherwise we will have gone a bit too far away. We want to get on that road and we want to follow it. And the good news is... The good news is there doesn't seem to be anybody around over here. We seem to be fairly safe. And if I can get on this road up here quickly, which we do, my hope is that... Oh no, that's one of them. I saw that boat with a trailer at the start. Um... Okay, oh, traffic lights, please go green, please go green, please go green, please go green, please go green. Go, 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 go. If we could change, I want watchdog's abilities, yes, go! Ruiner, move! For God's sake, I'm in a hurry without, I'm in a hurry without looking like I'm in a hurry. Yes, that's the one. Um, I don't, I think a boat with trailer, you'd, oh, you're not going to find one of those naturally around there. Come on, Phoenix, move, move, move. I uh, say Phoenix, move. L lights, come on. If I could just get on this road. I just want to be, I want to get on here so we can just kind of go safely. If we get on here, get on the bridge, drive across the bridge, past the airport. We can loop our way down. We can either go to the helipad one. I might actually go to the Chinese monument one. 
Uh, the reason being there's more ways out. The helipad one feels a little bit um, penned in. Well, we've seen our first Hunter car. It had a look, but didn't think anything of the uh, F620. And that's actually good news, is if the car has gone through and not thought of anything, other cars are going to go different directions. That's my that's my hope here. Other cars are going to go different ways. That's a big fingers crossed moment, because they're not likely to be that well organised, but still. Uh, <laughs> we could, like, pull into one of these, like, warehouses and just wait it out for a few minutes or something. Uh, but, th in theory, quite good. I'm not allowed to stay camped permanently somewhere, but in theory that sort of stuff is not a terrible idea, you know, momentarily. But the issue I get is we've done it before, where we've sort of camped out somewhere briefly. And it's always the leaving part that's the difficult bit. It's like, how do I get out of a car park, a warehouse, something like that, without getting seen? Because you can almost guarantee someone is going to wander past at just the wrong moment, is going to get really suspicious of a car in a funny place. Um, so yeah, I would prefer not to do that. You know, we've done it as try to get away from chases, and you may have to with some chases. Uh, we're going to try and avoid it unless, you know, absolutely necessary. I'd rather keep moving and rather keep making distance. There is the school of thought, and I see this commented a few times and I've pondered it myself a few times. There is this school of thought that they expect me to make ground when I blow up a pre. I generally do. The theory goes that, well, what if I don't? What if I stay right near it when I've blown it up? Because I'll swarm that area briefly, not see me, you know, a few seconds or a few, you know, 10 seconds after it's blown up, 20 seconds after it's blown up, and then spread out. And that the area around is actually quite safe. It, it kind of, the, the theory is sound. I like the idea. The difficult part, again, is the leaving bit. Uh, how long do you wait until you leave? When you do leave, you know, you're, you're putting yourself in an area that's going to be very heavily scrutinized and if you're hidden well enough great it might work but you might also have been parked right there where every car is being directed towards and not be hidden well enough so it's not really one that i want to chance essentially it's better to be making the distance if you can uh, it might be one that you don't get a choice at some time there might be a, a, a time where i have to go for that strategy but i'm not going to probably go for it unless absolutely forced to uh, we are almost at the bridge. We are almost at the location I want to be at. Um, Time-wise, okay, we're making half-decent time. We've had to change our strategy out a little bit. But we've got two cars, so we've only got one more to go before we have to head out of the city. Now, I am a little concerned about heading out of the city. For good reason. If I go on, the motorways are likely to be roadblocked. I would be very surprised if they didn't blockade them because they can, with a couple of cars, they can. Now they can't blockade every route out of the city. There's a lot of little roads that I could take. The motorways are the quickest. There is a really sneaky plan I've just seen looking at the map. There's the third so you've got the motorway, the road that leads to the left side of the map. You've got the main motorway that uh, leads up through the middle. Now there is the third option, the one that's out, actually out, out roughly around where we are at the moment. Uh, that motorway, that is a lot, lot less likely to be guarded, but they might still put a car down there. The other option is to go for the little twiddly roads, but that's then time. It takes longer to get to them than anything else. So it's, yeah, how I get out of the city is going to be a big gamble. We could go could go by uh, the via, via the observatory that area we're going to be heading the right way actually for the observatory come to think of it so maybe we head that way and just go straight north from that because they're not going to have time to really roadblock me there as, a, as an easy roadblock and once i've got past the observatory and up on that road i'm going to be well out of the city like by the time they can react to it they can't yeah they, they can't necessarily roadblock it but we've got to get through all of the junctions and everything horrible anyway. We'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling like by the time we get there. We've got to get off this bloody bit of motorway. I feel like this has been a good call. <clears throat> as far as a Survive the Hunt goes for me... Sorry, my voice dying a little bit, of course. Middle of a Survive the Hunt. What else? Um, as far as a Survive the Hunt goes, this one has been fairly calm. 
we've actually managed to sneak our way out of a lot of situations. Now that's good for me, I like sneaking. I'm just surprised that we've managed to get this this well away. I'll take it. Hopefully it can continue. I'm always scared of going on this bloody bridge. <laughs> I think I've only been on it once and I think instantly, well not instantly, but I went on the bridge once, got seen, got stuck. Because there's essentially two exits. The third exit is the one here, but if you're on the bridge already, if you're past that exit there, you are really, really stuck. You've got no options as to where you can go. So, it's always it's always nerve-wracking when you have no options at all, because if I do get seen here, we're done. Well, I say we're done, but if we get seen here, it's easy to navigate people to you, and... I could get penned in very easily because there's walls either side. I do have advantage of speed in this. Over the cars that I could have, this is probably my best bet for if we get stuck here. What is going on with the AI? Why are we going so slowly? I mean, I know it's a steep hill and everything, but your truck's going to have more power than that. Where did the blimp go as well? If we just lost it over the crest of the hill, we might have done. We might be having a look around by the docks area which would be fair enough which, which would definitely be fair enough there it is actually okay it's by the stadium it's it's cruising around the back of that the other fun bit is if i do get seen while trying to leave the city it will essentially nullify that that attempt to escape i can't I can't run away from the city while being chased because, well, the city's the best place. The city's my best chance at getting away, so I'm not going to be leaving the city to try and outrun vehicles. I can't call the plane in while being chased. So we're going to have to play this very smart, and I'm going to have to be very sure I've lost any pursuers before we leave the city, and I'm going to have to be very sure that I am in a fairly secure place before calling in the plane, um, as and when that happens. Hopefully, as if that happens, and all of that uh, potential guff, just gonna cruise down bridge. Where are the slip roads off of here? They're somewhere along here, aren't they? Can't you can't you get down by? I swear these go. There's a slip road that goes down to the like main road below. I don't want to stay on this bit of motorway, particularly. Maze Bank Arena, Santos here. Does this take me where I want it to? I think so. It does appear to. Cool. Okay. We will get off the motorway. Alright. Yes, this is where I wanted to be. Okay, we're not going to go for... Oh, even better. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. All of the green lights. I love it. We're not going to go for the pre down here because I think it's going to be too far in by the helipads. And I, another perfect perfect green light. And I, I think we're better off going to the Chinese monument, to be honest with you. I feel like that's just a better option here. More avenues of escape. Cops turn a blind eye means the police station nearby won't ping me for driving a stolen car. All is good. Oh no, the pre's actually just there. Okay, I thought it was a little further down. Never mind, we're not going to worry about it. I'm still going to head further in. We have the time to do it. It is very tempting, but no, no, we're going to be good. We're going to stick to the plan. Don't alter the plan. When you alter the plan, that's when you make a mess of things. We know this. We know this stuff. Uh, right. We're going to get Lester ready on the phone. I think, for this. It is going to be just around the corner now. It will probably be parked. We will probably have to take a slight different route to the one that I was thinking of because I believe it will be parked actually in the statue. What is going on here, guys? 10 out of 10 dumbness from the AI. What are you doing a demo derby? That's not even a hunter at this point in time. That is just AI demo derby in the middle of a bloody junction. I'm really glad the blimp didn't see that. Because that would have given us an actual real bloody problem. Oh. Hey, what's up? Uh, right. Oh, how can I help? That's unavailable? Why is that unavailable? Goodbye. Oh, okay. It's actually unavailable because I think an event is going on that will 
make it irrelevant. Okay, so cops are going to turn a blind eye regardless. That's kind of helpful. Oh, the blimp's right there. I still feel like I'm going to go for this one because we're so close to an opportunity here. Um, the blimp's actually not up in the sky. I think we got that. I'm not... Okay, we definitely got that one. The blimp's not in the sky, so it's actually going to take a little bit to get up into the air. If we go straight and hook a left... Anyway, from here, the blimp's going to crap itself when it hears the explosion so close and be annoyed it's not paying attention to this. But yeah, we're going to get up here. I hope we don't get a wanted level. We can just spam call Lester uh, anyway. Um, that's gone kabang. The AI over here are not freaked out from the explosion. Okay, and now begins the exfiltration. I believe I'm using that word correctly. Not a word you use very often uh, from the city. I mean, this bit here is the nerve-wracking part. Would... Should we have swapped cars? Would someone recognise a white F620? Well, that was that is the car that would recognise it, basically. The car that's just driven past. So I'm going to hazard a guess. Oh, I'm going to go run the orange light. Shh, nobody saw. <laughs> I don't want to sit around in the city any longer. So they're going to bolt off to that location, and if they can't find me quickly, they're going to have to bolt away. They're going to have to get to... Do I actually have lights for this bit? I don't know. They're going to have to get thinking about leaving the city because they know where I'm heading. I mean, we... I was going to say, we could sit and bide our time, because they'll expect me to run away straight away, but the more I bide my time, the more likely they are to have time to set up, like, roadblocks and stuff. So I think getting out is going to be, as quick as possible, is going to be the way to go. We do not want to go... We do not want to go all the way down to the road. We want to... Not this one. The next one we're going to go right at, if I can find a way to get into the lane. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want to go right just yet, but I think the next one we take a right. We want to go, yeah, we want to go by the observatory. We do not want to go via the very, very potentially busy motorways. Uh, we can take this turn. Is it, no, we're going to need to take the turn on a red light. The lights have changed. Where is... There is Blimpus. Menacing in the distance. It is heading this way. It is heading this way. I mean, it knows that... Uh, it knows where we're headed. It knows we're going out of the city here. It's checking. It's looking for vehicles that are maybe leaving. That's a really awkward place for it. Could you please piss off? Uh, that is one of the hunters as well with the police car. What are they searching? Are they searching everything headed this way? This could be a problem for me, you know. Can you search every car, though? That is the concern. We're just going to go drive forward. I have a feeling... I mean, I've got no traffic lights to guess with there. I've got a feeling we might be in some trouble here. Possibly. Can I do the brake light trick quick enough? Will they think, if they look at the back of it, and we have actually got the brake lights on? AI, don't screw this up for me. I'm just waiting for the bullets. I have a feeling we might be in trouble here because the AI crashed into us. Like, I was trying to get off all the buttons and not spin the wheels and not flick a reverse light on in time. And, uh, yeah, we have got some problems. They're not sure, and that's the best thing about it. Oh, wait, hold on. I have a plan here. They're expecting, if it's me, to be leaving the city. So why on earth would I go back into the city? That was a theory. It's not worked. Now, sometimes AI cars pull over if there's a vehicle with a siren on. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, it's difficult to make it look like an AI vehicle. But... I don't know here. OK, 
Can I do this? Oh, that was a gun. I didn't actually mean to pull out a gun. I thought I'd selected... A, I was trying to swear at them like an AI would, and I think I had a gun selected by accident. Never mind! I had a cunning plan. It didn't bloody work. Well, the chase is on. <laughs> I think I just pulled out a gun rather than doing what I meant to, because I hadn't flicked through that quick it, or I'd flicked through it and gone one too far by accident. Um, uh, this is a bit bad, because we wasted so much time. Now, I can't... So I can't leave the city until we've got away from this. I know the police car is actually pretty quick. Uh, oh, that's a big bounce through there. And the police car's had an accident. Okay, F620, use blinding speed. I need as much of it as we can get here. Lights off. White car, not the best for this. Nighttime sneaking. However, blinding speed is going to have to do the trick. And now we're going to put ourselves completely the wrong end of the city. We've got a blimp to deal with. And that's not okay. Oh, back end has gone slippery slidery there. Uh, where is the old blimp? I could dive into that subway tunnel. It's bloody tempting, I'll tell you that much. Uh, now, we, the, blimp, the blimp struggles with U-turns and tall buildings, of course, bridges, tunnels, all of that sort of stuff, um, which I may have to try and use to good effect. There it is. Um... Of course, U-turns are very, very, very dangerous for me because when well, you do a U-turn and you run into the cars that are giving chase, uh, we don't really want to be doing them unnecessarily, but we might be able to do them to good effect at the right time. Uh, and again, it is very important to figure out a way to shake the bloody blimp. Uh, it is still following somewhere, but a little further back. So this is what the blimp is very good at. The blimp is very, very good at... Um, sort of long range, keeping a chase alive. It's not very good at close range stuff. Ah, oh, crap. There's a car right there. I was hoping I could sneak up here and get away from the blimp, but I can't. What is that following? It's got some speed. Is it a Rocotto or something? That is not slow at all compared to the F620. Oh, gap, 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 gap. Ugh. Tried. I was hoping to give the uh, pursuing car some grief. It did not work. Blimp is still there. Blimp, the other downside the Blimp will have top speed is lacking in it. It won't match an F620 or a lot of sports cars in terms of, uh, yeah, top end speed. Oh, do I try and shake it? I think we can win in terms of top speed as well here, but that Rapoto is quicker than you expect. Uh, Alright, get off here. I'm hoping the Rocotto might roll taking that jump. It didn't. Uh, that's a pain in the arse. There might be something down there. That's why I'm not taking the tunnel route. Uh, I don't want to stay on the motorway. Oh, it's kind of easier to bring people into a chase like that. Oh, the Rocotto went a bit funny there, so it's going to be mispositioned for that corner. We're kind of now driving almost based on what that car behind us is doing. The police car's back in the fray. Well, that's not a surprise. Lose the back end a little bit through there. Oh, and it's still sliding and sliding its way around through these next couple of corners. The police cars are quick. Oh! Oh, bloody hell. That was on the limits of the grip. There was nothing left in the F620 there. We got away with it, but only just. There is one of the other chasing vehicles. Oh! Back end just kids sliding over these little crests, these little bumps. Come on, machine. You can do it! Oh! It's a bit of a snappy bugger, this one. <laughs> probably shouldn't be attacking curbs. I know it's going to snap or has a potential to snap. I really shouldn't be super aggressive on the old curbing, but we kind of got to do what we got to do here to get away from the chase. If that means across curbs, if it means avoiding traffic cars, all of the good stuff like that, I've got to do it. It just means we might have to deal with an oversteery car. I feel like we've lost the blimp, but I don't know. Can't check at this moment in time. We're dealing with other problems. I need the police car to crash. That's, uh, the, blimp's still, the blimp's there, but the blimp is struggling in this chase at the moment. Uh, there's a gap going to appear through that section. Uh, I'm trying to use... Perceivably, I would expect this to have better top speed, which is why I'm trying to use longer straights. Now, yes, weaving in and out of alleyways is good. However... Oh, I, I am not trusting this car in terms of grip because it has just let go on me again. Oh, there was a gap there very briefly. Uh, no, I was hoping I could judge that one better than we did. We did not. Uh, the back end just went again. So we've got to be careful with this car. Uh, we are actually it's a little bit broken as well. That will not help matters. Uh, oh, rolling car. Not go that way. 
Change of plan! <laughs> that was an impressive tumble from the ricotta there, I'll say that much. Oh. I didn't realise this thing was so oversteery, snappy, kind of, yeah, snappy, bouncy oversteery almost. I, as I said, we are, whoa, we are really pushing it, trying to get away. I've driven these before and I swear like, maybe it took a little bit of damage in one of these bumps or something. Uh, that might have been what's caused it grief. Now, one thing you'll find is if a car is really close behind you, like that police car is, for example, um, y y you're in a dangerous place right there, because if I make a move that they don't expect, uh, you can overshoot a corner. You want to, you potentially want to stay just a little further back so you can react to whatever move I do. Uh, of course, stay well within visual range and everything. We've got a little more speed down here. See, we do have more top speed than the police car. It's not by very much, though. Probably shouldn't have gone here because it's a really easy place to uh, navigate everyone to. Uh, we will take this corner. Now, this is a... I'm hoping there's not going to be any vehicles coming this way. This is a try and confuse a blimp momentarily. Uh, there is one... Whoop! Oh, that was really close. Uh, yeah, I was hoping if there was something coming towards me, I could dodge it. And we just, just got out of the way of it. Uh, there is a hunter car oh, in the distance. That's not a turning. There was a hunter car in the distance I didn't want to have a head-on collision with. And where I thought I could sneak... I knew it wasn't a road, but I thought it was a bit I could drive over. It was a lot bumpier than I realised. Oh, police car is still there. Still sat behind us. Uh, do we try something risky? Do I have the ground clearance to do it? Yes, we do! Have they beansed it up behind me? They have! Oh, they've massively screwed that one up! Okay, floor it. We've got to go now. F620, we have got to go. There is a car behind us. It's a long way back. Now, it will see where we go. My hope is... I have got, we've seen we have top end advantage. We could even use this as the bolt out of the area. It's tempting. The blimp is a long, long way back. Do we just go for it? Do we make the most of this and just run north? They will expect me to do that. Oh, do we bail? This is, this is a really difficult decision now. Do I bail and try and find another car, extend, having them think I've gone north, or do we just head north? I think we've got such a lead at the moment. I'm going to head north and hope that the old blimp, we go out of render distance. I might have to potentially go for a sneaky plan, so we're not going to run north the whole way on this road. My hope is, if I can do this, we can... Oh, we can swap a car out somewhere... Uh, by the military base way. So if we die, then... Mm, there is actually even another theory. They're going to... Uh, more time we wait. The theory is if we go all the way up to Polito Bay and then come back down from the north part of the map. No one's going to expect that one. And we can swap a car out there. However, uh, I should have gone that way. Because if I go by the military base, that's where they're expecting me to go. They're expecting me to take that route across. They may even have a car waiting somewhere along here. Um, I don't think they would, though. Uh, yeah, I feel like that might... Oh. If we go straight there, especially with something like that, we're going to have more time problems. So, uh, I'm going to go... We don't have a time limit. I'm going to play the safe option. Ah, uh, they've got a car back there. They have, they're have. close enough to see me at the moment. That is an issue. The blimp is still watching. Will they be close enough... No, they are. They're too close at this current moment in time. This is a problem. That spin has cost me a little bit. I don't know whether it's cost me enough here. We're going to have to now try and lose them in the northern part of the bloody map. That's not what I needed here. I should, I should have not gone this way, I fear. It's so difficult to know, though, when you're far enough away from that blimp, that line of sight. Uh, where do we go? Uh, oh, that's not what I needed. Let's see who can drive down here. Oh, not me, apparently. It's just, it's somewhere different and somewhere different that cars may get into trouble. The Rocotto might be pretty good, though. That is the issue part. Oh, we're going to have to hope that I'm good on the rally stage here and that someone bins it in the drink. Because I haven't got much choice. There is another thing I'm hoping for here, and that is a boat. Uh, a boat would be wonderful. 
Uh, a blimp having a crash, that would also be wonderful. Where are they? Have they got anybody around? I don't know here. They may well do. Uh, they haven't got anybody about in cars currently close. Where's that blimp gone? I can't even see the damn thing. Is it, has it actually broken down? That would be hilarious if it had. Um, oh, no, there it is. So my plan is, if we go for this one... Oh, Chris. How did that blimp not explode from that? <laughs> Liam has had an app I think it's Liam in the police car, has had an absolute heart attack coming around there and has had a massive accident. Uh, so the, the reason I've done this is that they're never going to get away in that scenario. I don't know how that rocket didn't hit the blimp. It must have just shuffled far enough away um, to have got out of that. Hello. If you could go cause issues for those cars giving chase, I'm kind of planning on them being more likely to fall off the road than me. And the fact that the blimp's now completely the wrong place. Uh, this is a risky strategy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, because it relies on me not falling off the road. And I'm in a rear-wheel drive coupe on the slipperiest surface known to GTA 5 kind. Uh, and they're in all-wheel drive SUVs. And some rear-wheel drive saloon cars. This isn't working currently. This strategy is not working. Um... Yeah, they are. They're still there. I mean, they're not stopping me, but this was not the car to do this getaway. This is why I wanted the all-wheel drive, because you never know when you might need it. Oh, uh, we're in a bit of trouble now. There is our getaway aircraft, but where the hell do we go? What is... Do I have a cunning plan left in me? We're back, and now we're doing, we're doing an all of the map survive the hunt that's going horrifically wrong. Do I have a secondary cunning plan? Well, we tried... Oh dangerous road. That's a nasty bit. Get out of the way. Go, 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 go. F620. Go, go, go. Drive. Thankfully, some other people must have had a crash somewhere because it was only one car in position to try and stop me. That's good. I've got to try and get them to have a crash somehow. How do I get them to have a crash? I have no idea. How do I get to a lot of them to have a crash all at once? Definitely have no idea on this one. Uh, I have an idea, but it's a bloody dumb idea. There's a jump I could try and land on a roof, but I mean, you're really asking for trouble there if you're going for a jump onto the roof somewhere. Um, yeah, where do we go? Where do we go? Do we try and lose them in the buildings around here? Uh, maybe. I feel like it's a really dangerous plan, trying to lose them around here. I'm hoping someone overshoots that corner. That's why I was so late on the brakes in the way that I was there. Um, no, they, they, they overshot where I went, but they made a different turning, which is fine to be expected a little bit. If we fart around here for too long, I am going to get in trouble, but it's the best built-up area I've got. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Mm, you need to buy more time. This is the thing, we're just we're desperately trying to buy ourselves some time. Oh! Which is why we're hoping for traffic collisions or something, anything that can give them grief. No, we've not really done. We've shaken some of them, but they're still there. Uh, do I, we can't try off-road again. They've got too many cars. Whoa! Thank you. Thank you very much. You have annihilated the police car from this one. I don't know where the blimp is. It's long gone. Something's glitched out massively over there. I hope it wasn't important. I don't even know what it was at that juncture. Uh, I need some form of escape. I need some form of plan here. I need something that I can do that will not be expected and that cannot be seen. But I'm not far enough away from any of it. From any of them. Like, I can break the line of sight just for a second, but I can't do anything with it because I'm stuck on this road. Now, I can see two of them back there. Did you see a parachute that gave me a really dumb idea, but I'd never be able to pull that one off in time. Uh, can I...? No, I'm not far enough. Well, they've had a crash! Oh, they have had a really, really big crash! Am I out of line of sight here? Can I do something absurd? I might be out of line of sight here. They might see this, you might not. 
I mean, this is the best bed I've got. And the reason why I've just thrown it here is I'm hoping the hills will hide it. Um, don't know where the blimp is. The blimp's gone out of sight. I don't know quite where it is. Um, this is a wonderful plan. I spot an aircraft. It's in the drink! Swim F620! This was not at all the plan. This was not the initial plan. Uh, <laughs> but the plane is here. The plane is here. Let's go! Let's go! They don't even know where we've gone! We've done it! <laughs> okay, it's not quite gone the way we anticipated at all in the slightest. However, that crash the crash they did on the motorway is what uh, what did it for us. Because they they beansed it. They beansed it going over the crest and they spun and they weren't close enough anymore to stop me from doing that. And yeah, where we were located, I could just throw it off road and they hadn't had time because they were so busy chasing me. We have got into the sky. We have done it. We have escaped the country. I was worried the aircraft like following around was going to be a problem, but it saw what my plan was and it went for it. Woohoo! We should probably not have survived that. That is really bloody difficult to do. However, we have made it. We are home free from that horrible mess. What an escape. <laughs> well, there we go. That is going to be it for this for this video thank you all very much for watching and until next time a goodbye